Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the Michaela Loves Gymnastics page. Hey everybody, I am 37 years old. I'm a black female calling from the Florida area. I just want to do a little introductory video. I love gymnastics. It has been one of my secret passions my whole life, even though I was clearly too heavy to actually compete in gymnastics. Um... I love women gymnastics. I first fell in love with the sport of gymnastics in 1992. I'm going to say at the Barcelona Olympics. It was this young girl named Dominique Dawes. And I fell in love with the sport ever since that first competition that I truly paid attention to. Um, I paid attention to so many competitions thank god for youtube because i was able to go back in time and catch up with competitions before i fell in love with the sport and competitions you know currently up until 2019 the last competition i just watched was the um usa classic championship i did a video about that that was actually my very first video on the michaela loves gymnastics channel and um we are um setting up for the Pan Am Games. I'm going to try to do um, a lot of blogging and a lot of discussions about the Pan Am Games. Please like and share. Please add, a, add us. Uh, help you girl, you know, subscribe. Tune into those notification buttons for everything your girl is going to post. Today, we're going to be talking about gymnasts who was robbed in gymnastics history. This is going to be a, a couple of part series to this one. But tonight we're going to talk about the 1988 Olympics. Um, there's a channel, Gymnastics Channel. I don't remember which one who did a video about girls who was uh, gymnasts who were robbed in their career, right? And they talked about Andrea Radican and Rosa Galeheba and all these other people. But the greatest robbery in gymnastics history, in my opinion... Is the 1988 women all around competition Daniela Silavash versus the great um, Elena? No, not Catter. Um, what was her name? Um, Sherbo, Sherbo, Elena Sherbo. I think I'm forgetting how to pronounce her name, but the girl who won in 1988, right? <coughs> First of all, the girl who was who won in 1988, Elena. Zabo. No, I think Elena Zabo was from Elena Shushanova. I'm so sorry. How can I forget who Elena Shushanova is, everybody? Elena Zabo was the girl who came in second place to Mary Lou Renton in 1984. And that would probably be part two to this gymnast who were robbed video. But in 1988, Daniela Stilabosch clearly won that competition, right? It made no sense for Elena, um, Elena Shishinova to receive a 10 on her vault, right? Clearly, Daniela Stilabosch won that competition. She won it hands down. She beat that girl on an even bar. She beat that girl on balance beam. She beat that girl on floor exercise. Now, did... Um, she should never have a better vault than than and than Daniela Silabash at that time. She did. And did she quote unquote technically for 1988 terms stick her vault? I guess if we're gonna split hairs, yes. But there's no way that vault should have gotten the score that it got to for her to beat Daniela Silabash. Daniela Silabash beat her in every event in the event finals. Other than vault, I think yeah, she didn't win vault because um my favorite, Spetlana Bogan Skaya, won vault in 1988. It was just a travesty. It's, this competition right there still makes me mad because Daniela Silabash was on fire. And Daniela Silabash was robbed a lot of her career. She was robbed a lot of her career. She was robbed. I don't think. That Lana Bogan Sky, who again is one of my favorite gymnasts of all time, beat Daniela Silabash in 1989 World Championships. Um, Daniela Silabash. No, she deserved to come in third place in 1987, but she could have went, went higher and then third place in that competition too. Um, 
The other syllabus is one of the great talents in gymnastic history is who always was robbed because she was competing against that darn USSR. And those Soviet gymnasts that then, they just weren't losing. There was like the team... No, because if Team USA in 2019 deserves to lose, they're going to lose. But the the USSR could be falling and stepping out of bounds and stuff under the 10.0 score system, mind you, and still find a way to win. So, in my opinion, in 1988, the Women's All-Around Champion should have been Daniela Silabaj. Um, If you agree, make a comment, like, and share, and subscribe, everybody. Um, see you in the next video. Michaela loves gymnastics.